हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग चैनल एंड माय नेम इज चिराग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टेस्ट एनजी एंड आर टुडे एजेंडा वुड बी अ टेस्ट एनजी एनोटेशन सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टेस्ट एनजी एनोटेशंस एज एनोटेशन इज अ बैकबोन ऑफ टेस्ट एनजी यू कैन से दैट बिकॉज ऑल द थिंग्स विच वी डू इन टेस्ट एन जी इज सम इज सम हाउ means moving around to this annotation so there are different annotations today i'm going to discuss you a basic and very useful annotation and as soon as we are going to further in this channel in future or in upcoming video we will discuss uh, one by one annotation where we need to use because this annotation mainly used when we are making a framework so you should know about this annota annotations and you should know about how it works because uh, when you go to any interview interviewer will ask you this basic questions how this annotations work can you give me the sequence how it will run all these types of so the basic should be clear so today i'm going to discuss about the basic of annotations so mainly there are different type of annotations there would be a before suit before test before class before method and at the rate test annotations so you can see this at the rate test annotate annotations it is a main annotation when, when the method which has this at the rate test annotation it is a mark as a main method in java we use main method in test ng we use at the rate test so it it means that whenever test ng gets at the rate test it mark as mark as a part of that test so it so that way it should start execution right so first before suit will execute and after that before test would execute after that before class execute after that before method and then this test execute right in the same way after method after class after test and after suit will execute so why we are using before suit before test so if i'm talk about a real scenario suppose there is a database i need to make a connection between database so and it is the requirement basic requirement that my every test case need to validate from the weighted database so i just create a connection of database in this before suit whenever my test run first test so before suit will create a connection between a database and my application uh, my code right after that before test before test means suppose there are number of test right and i need to execute number of test set in this uh, ie or you may say chrome so all this set will we will put in uh in this set and before set we just uh, pass the value in uh, what would be the value of uh, my browser so at that time you can say we can use before test before class means suppose i need to invoke a, this browser or i need to invoke anything which can be invoke when whenever my class run right before that before that class run this uh, uh, this method will execute so we mark that method as a before class before method would be like that if suppose there is a login page and we have the scenario that we need to in every test we need to login into our application so at that time we can write our login code and mark that method as a before method so whenever my this test run automatically 
it's just invoke browser and it login from this uh, uh, login into our application and my test case would run after that after method will log out from the application and this may be a quit a driver it this is for the another scenario in after suit we can say that uh, we just destroy or uh, remove this database connection so in this way we can uh, you can s implement or you can thought about that how this annotation will work so this is all about the basic and i just wanna to give a basic in this video whenever we will create our framework then we will discuss this more detailedly and practically but this is the basic you should note about this because in upcoming video i am going to use before method at the retest method after method before class after class so you, you should know about uh, what is this so that's why i'm creating this video right so let me open eclipse and we'll create a new tutorial and we'll just show you how this will work will it work uh, as the same sequence which we have discussed now so you can see that here i am not clicking on main method because i am just going to um, we are just going to invoke this method by test ng right so i am going to create a method public void you may say before so all right and we will print normally syso and just let me copy this before suit is executed right so we will similarly we will create more method we will create before test before class before method at the rate method after method after class after test and after suit so let me just get this this would be our test just I'm going to copy this this would be my before class I will copy and paste here this would be my before method same things I'm doing why I'm going to show you this because you can easily understand what I'm doing here this is my test script so I'm writing here test script so friend this is all the basic we should know about this basic before moving further because let me because if your basic is clear then you can just uh, think about the new things he thinks about a new logic so this would be a necessary or mandatory to understand the basic requirement or basic concept So there would be my after class this would be my after test and this would be my after so So 
we have created different method now just let me give the annotations which we are discussing so this would be my before so you can see this would be annotation and this is my before test so you can see we need to import this this would be a before class and there would be a before method and you can see this would be a test so this is my main script right and this all are the dependent of this this would be my after method after class after test and this is known uh, as after so so we have created a method and we set the this log so we can easily understand in what seconds this all run so let me right click and run as a test ng test right suppose i do not write here a test ng test now we will see what will come now okay that's it is coming because i just import this So let me create a new class and that we will see about this what I'm going to show you. I will create a new class and then I'm going to show you. So first let me run this then I will create a new class and will show you. So you can see this which we are talking first before suit is run after that before test before class before method our test script is executed then after method after class after test and this all about the have discussed right so friend this is all the things which i am going uh, i i wanted to discuss in this so just one more thing it does not depend on the sequence how I, we will write suppose i have copy this before class and if you think that uh, i write this method in this sequence that's why it is right it will uh, execute at that time no it is executed about this annotation let me run this and we'll see so you can see after class is executed after method right so all this thing this not depend on how we call this method it will uh, run uh, according to this annotation right so I'm just going to show you one more thing this I am just creating a test class quickly and if you can see there would be a method public void test one method let me copy this another method there would be two and here i'm just going to discuss before method and now i'm going to run this so you can see that there would be no test ng run because i am not give here a at the rate test now if i give a at the rate test and import this and if i click this then you can see our test test ng test so my test ng test will search for this test and will execute so this where we get this at the rate test this would be my main test script 
so this is I'm just wanted to show you and for this video I'm just closing this video and hopefully you understand this and uh, in coming video I am going to show this uh, I'm going to use this annotation and we will discuss uh, in coming video how we can run this annotation through test and xml file and uh, we will move one by one step about uh, this test and g playlist and after that when we will complete this then we will move forward to a framework right designing a framework so hopefully you understand and you like this video so thank you for watching this video bye bye